Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're having a great day on this Wednesday as we pause for our devotion. I thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to uh, start out and hope I give you a little encouragement this week. Uh, this picture of the cat says, Wednesday, we're halfway through the week. So I hope you're smiling like that kitten is. I wanted to talk to you this morning about what I see in our country I think that we have an identity crisis. Have you noticed that? You know, every 10 years we do a census, and it's funny how in the U.S. We, we talk about we're all Americans, and we talk about the concept of unity and being just one, and that all sounds good on the surface, but have you noticed how we still categorize everybody? And you may do this as well, we categorize people by race, we categorize them by religion, by gender, by economics. They're the one percenters or they're upper class, middle class, upper middle, lower class, poor. Uh, we look at vocation, education levels, post-grad, pre-grad, uh, bachelors, uh, whatever it might be. We say they're liberal or conservative, red states, blue states, and on and on. We have all these categories. Whether you're, what, even in religion, you can't just be a Christian. You have to be identified with which denomination you're in. It's just the craziest thing when we think about it. I want you to look and see what does God's word say about all this. Revelation 15 verse 4 says, Who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you for your righteousness acts have been revealed. All nations. You know, God does not categorize us. Have you ever thought about that? That is just not the way God does. From the beginning, God pl God's plan has been sweeping. It's been to bless all families in the world. In 12, Genesis 12, verse 3, it says, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. This is God's word to Abraham. In other words, we'd all be united in one family, the family of God. You know, it's interesting, through Abraham's descendants, they're going to be the light of the world and you and I are those descendants if we'll put God first in our lives. If we're in Christ, then we're Abraham's seed and we're heirs of God's promise to Abraham without any distinction. Look at what the, the scripture says in Galatians 3 verse 28. It says, there's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. You see, this is the vision that John saw in his vision of heaven. All nations were coming together. And this is important. You know, there's no male, no female. We categorize everything and we need to stop all that. Black lives matter, white supremacists, that's all craziness. It all needs to be just God's children. We all are one. We don't need to categorize. This has been God's plan from the beginning. And I want you to understand all these categories that we use by differentiating one another and putting people in different categories. That is Satan's plan to divide us, divide and conquer. You see, to reveal God's holiness in humanity, God wants us all to be a part of his family. We're united in one, one family. You know, regardless of who you are on earth, whether you're male, female, black, white, it doesn't matter. Whatever your title is, whether you're educated, uneducated, whether you're old or young, poor or rich, it doesn't matter. The worship of our holy God is your purpose in Christ. Your true identity is found in Him. That's for now and forever. No matter what your status is, it may change in life, but that doesn't matter. Your purpose and identity is through Christ Jesus to honor and glorify God. Look with me at what uh, John 1 verse 12 says. It says, Jesus, to all who believe in his name, he gave the power to become children of God. This is so important. Don't let the world put any label on you besides the label of child of God. Because that's what we are when we accept Jesus Christ. 
We are adopted into God's family. And that's all that's important. You know, don't let the world keep trying to split us and divide us. And that's what the world and the devil does. Don't fall into that trap. All that matters is that you are a child of God. Nothing else is important. I want to take this time to make sure that you are a child of God. Have you made that profession of faith? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? That is the only way. Jesus is the truth, the light, and the way, and he is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. There might be a lot of fancy talking and you know all this other stuff, but none of that's going to get you to heaven. When you stand before God, Jesus is going to have to verify that you're one of his. And I want to invite you to be one of his. I'll help guide you to that. I want to ask you to join us in church on Sunday mornings, Proctor Memorial and Grimes at 1030. We do Facebook Live, YouTube Live at 1030 as well. We stream. If you can't be there every Sunday, you can stay, stay connected and, and receive God's word because that's so important. And we also have a parking lot broadcast on 100.1. But I want to encourage you to come and be a part of our church. And if you're too far away and, and you can't physically be with us, find a good God-believing, God-teaching, and God-abiding church where the leaders put God first and seek to glorify Him, not themselves. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was a blessing for you. Let's close with a prayer. Almighty God, we come to you humbled in your presence. We thank you so much for your word. And Father, we pause and we also want to lift up those that are sick. There's so much sickness in our world. We know that's a part of what this world is about. And that's why we have so much to look forward to when we accept Jesus Christ and go to heaven and be with you. That there'll be no more sickness, no more suffering, no more pain. But Father, for now, we call on you in the name of Jesus to touch these, the ones that we love, that we hold dear and we lift up to you now. You know their needs. We just ask for you to comfort them. If it be your will, Father, we pray you'd heal them. And we pray, Father, whatever you do, that you would use their situation to honor and glorify you. And most of all, draw them closer to thee. Use us as that instrument of joy and pleasure and help us to touch them and encourage them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday or talking with you soon.